Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a traditional Mexican holiday celebrated during the first two days of November that commemorates the joy of life instead of mourning death. For 30 years, campus groups like Mecha have brought their culture to the U of O. Host of KLCC's Spanish language program, Adelante Si, and longtime event coordinator, Armando Morales, explains the importance of sharing Mexican culture with the Eugene community. When you include, you make yourself bigger. When you are exclude, you make yourself small. They, this is the best way to make our community bigger in this town, to include everybody. One university office is working to make Armando's dream a reality by making the U of O a more inclusive academic institution. The mission of the Office of Equity and Inclusion is to facilitate the integration of the many cultures found on Oregon's campus by promoting a healthy cross-cultural dialogue. The office recently hosted a Breakfast for Diversity Champions, where university leaders came together to discuss UO's diversity behaviors and policies. Headlining the event was A.T. Miller, Associate Vice Provost at Cornell University, who shared some of his expertise with Oregon's faculty and staff. Well, I think one of the things is to get inside the imagination of everyone that what you bring to campus, how you're different, is what you're adding. And that's the most valuable thing you have to offer, not the way you fit in. Dr. Yvette Alex Asenso, UO's Vice President of Equity and Inclusion, helped coordinate the early morning event and explained why it is important to promote diversity on campus. I'm really passionate about the work of diversity and the extent to which it really um, accentuates the excellence of an institution. Um, I believe that you really can't have excellence in an academic institution without it being diverse. If we have homogenous settings, no matter what they are, we don't have the richness and the variety that diversity adds. This is only one step of the Office of Equity and Inclusion's Diversity Action Plan, which will be ongoing throughout the year. For J432 News, I'm Ryan Hofel.